So I just left the arch and this is the trail for a little bit here. Uh, then I'll, it goes uphill here for a while and then goes up to the stairs. And I'll show you the stairs of the waterfall for sure. So it's been two and a half years since I hiked this trail. September, 2019, I hiked all the way up to Springer and back in one day. And um, so I know what's coming and it's today's a, gonna be a pretty good day because it's pretty hard getting up to Springer. Eight and a half miles up there and then downhill pretty much the rest of the day after that but be a good day it's supposed to be in the mid 70s so i'm gonna crank out some miles and on a beautiful day been waiting here for a long time to do this the sounds of morning so this creek is the falls eventually um, as it's run down the mountain. So, up we go. And look at those Mount Laurels. It's been a while since I've seen Mount Laurels. Ah, beautiful sight, beautiful morning. There are the falls. We're gonna walk all the way up. They don't look that big here, but as you get up there, they are. So, here we are walking past one of the ponds as we walk up to the falls here's like the walkway so it's kind of um just laid rock and now it starts to get steep until we get to the stairs i remember this section my first view as i start to climb up and we're walking this asphalt right now up to the stairs All right, we're starting the stairs all the way up there. And then across the bridge, it goes over here and all the way up to the top. And this is Sam McCall Falls. Toss Falls in the state of Georgia. What a sight. Top of the falls. You can see the stairs down there. And here's the view. Well, I made it to the top of the stairs in 10 minutes. <laughs> I was smoking. Now I'm heading up to the lodge again to have breakfast with my baby. And then after breakfast, head out. So, got a few more steps just to get up these concrete to the lodge and then breakfast. Made it back to the lodge. Breakfast time. There goes my baby. Walking away. <clears throat> yep, <clears throat> just said our goodbyes. Well, that, that hit me harder than I thought. It didn't hit me until she walked away. Um, Cause uh, next time I see her will be uh, Roanoke, Virginia. So uh, just over a month. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> yeah, so we had breakfast and um, went back down to the falls and, and uh, now I said our goodbyes and time to get hoofing. So I've got about 15 miles left for today and uh, she's flying back to Florida this afternoon. First bridge after the stairs. So a lot of people want to know why I love bridges so much. Well, I love bridges because especially out in the wilderness, it takes a lot of effort. Somebody put a lot of time and effort into uh, making that bridge and carrying it in or doing whatever. And I really appreciate that. So 
I love bridges. Here's the trail. So different from when I hiked in 2019 because as you can see, there's nothing on the trees. There's no grasses, there's no weeds. So you can see, <laughs> it's just so nice to be able to see where I'm going and what's up on the next hill. So pretty. We're already past uh, five through hikers and we're just two and a half miles in, but well, two and a half from the um, where I left Piper. But just cranking along, just cruising. Check out the fog. It's rolling up the mountain here. It almost looks like smoke, but it's just fog. How pretty is this? I like. 10, just after 10 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful. I love walking up into the fog. More beautiful fog. You can probably hear it dripping out of trees. It's so foggy up here. So this is the first shelter. Back there you can see right there through the trees and campsite um, really won't after you leave the lodge area that's the first one and now we've got a mile and a half to go or just under a mile and a half left up to Springer so we're gonna go up here we go around the mountain and then keep going up and then we'll be up on Springer to actually start the AT First white blaze. Yes, sir. Again. First white blaze on a tree. So I am now on the AT. Eight and a half miles this morning. It's noon and that was with breakfast and hanging out with Piper this morning. And now I'm headed another 7.7 to Hawk, uh, Hawk Mountain Campground. So this is where the AT and the Benton Mackay first meet up. And the Bent Mackay is where I finished the Penhody at. So that's where the Penhody finishes on, right at the intersection of the Bent Mackay. Not actually too far from here. So uh, pretty awesome. It's kind of a, like a full circle, like you say. So, and uh, someday I'll come back and hike the Bent Mackay. It's way less traffic and it's supposed to be beautiful through this part of Georgia. And then it goes up into uh, Tennessee, and yeah, it's supposed to just be another beautiful trail. All right, so I just walked through uh, the Springer Mountain Road, whatever they call that thing. It's wherever I can drive up if you don't want to do the approach trail, which every person at Springer that I was talking to at the mountain, that's what they did. I was the only one to hike the approach trail. So, it was, it was kind of funny. A couple guys were like, oh, we're going to Hawk Mountain. I'm like, me too. But I've already done eight and a half. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but the next like four miles, I think, is downhill. And I got like three miles uphill. And that's it. It's noon. So I got uh, not even seven miles left. It'll be there early day and stretch your legs out. My first green tunnel of the AT these mountain laurels. Oh, I love walking through the green tunnels. Literally just, just a canopy over you walking through. Man, that is beautiful. This is the trail uh, after Springer, I think I'm about uh, three miles from past Springer already, and it's been really nice. 
which I knew was going to be downhill. That's why I'm going to do the 16.2 today because it's going downhill for four miles total. But, um, but yeah, it's just a nice trail compared to the approach trail. Probably 100 times easier. That's for sure. <laughs> Look what we got here. We got a bridge. Another one. That's number two for the day. So I took a point one side trail to Long Trail Falls. That's what this is called. And boy, is it worth it. So I made it to Hawk Mountain uh, campsite area. And you can see the, my tent platform. They have them all on the trail here. You can see the trail. There's 30 of them. And I'm on number six. But yeah, just a little elevated tent platform. And then uh, just down, they've got down that way. We got a privy and a bear box, just a couple sites over. Creek was pretty far, but went and got water. All right, so we're gonna do our end of day recap for day one on the Appalachian Trail. So today started at the arch, at the beginning of the push trail, climbed all the way up to Springer, then ended up here at Hawk Mountain uh, campground or campsite, and uh, which is just shy of the actual Hawk Mountain shelter because there's really no tent camping there so like I just showed you before these platforms are awesome here so and they have bear boxes and there's privy down the way which is looks like a brand new privy so um so today was 16.2 miles for day one um when to get here gonna be doing uh, about 17 tomorrow um, because starting Monday, it's supposed to rain for four days, so I'm sure the mileage may or may not be as as much. So, um, but uh, that's it for day one. It's a good day, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna try to remember to do the good and bad. So bad. Um, oh, at Springer there. Well, Springer there was a lot of people. That was probably the bad. Good. Everything. Um, yeah, it's a great day. Um, it was tough to see see my baby walk away, and um, but I will see her in Virginia, so that's a good thing. And so I will count down those days. And uh, other than that, day one's on the books, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Half a mile out.